Good morning. It is Friday morning and uh, we are speaking on has the world changed you? Have you been changed by the world? And today my talk, truth is found at the cross. Yeah, come on. So, so if you find yourself at the cross, you know what? You're going to find truth. And so many people are so afraid to come to the cross. So many people are afraid to, to bow before the cross and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their life because now they say, oh, you know, I'm going I, I, I'm to lose out on all the pleasures of this world. Man, I want to say to you, the pleasures of this world is passing by. Let me tell you, before you know it, you are no longer in this world. Before you know it, you get so old, you can't even enjoy the things of this world. But you know what? Eternity awaits on the other side. There is eternity. There is joy. There's happiness. There's goodness. There's life and life abundant. Man, I tell you, uh, I, I look forward to the day when I step into the presence of my Father, knowing that I can hear those words. Words, and these are the words that I long to hear when I step over. Well done, good and faithful servant. Enjoy the pleasures that I have prepared for you. Enjoy this place that I have prepared for you. And I know it's going to be a wow place because this is what we need to be doing. Again, we find our truth by accepting what Jesus Christ did for you and I at the cross of Calvary. John chapter 8 verse 36, Jesus said, If the Son sets you free, you are truly free. Oh, well, come on. There we go. If the Son sets you free, you are truly free free. Uh, uh, no matter what man uh, speaks over me, no matter what man says about me, no matter what my past tells me, you know what? I am found in the Lord Jesus Christ. And if I'm found in him, then I'm found in his freedom. And I have freedom found in him. I have now life and I have true life. I have an abundant life because my life was found in the Lord Jesus Christ. I am connected to the vine. You see, once you step into the sun, that is Jesus Christ, you will find your freedom from all that the devil has placed upon you. Jesus removes your past like a cancer. Come on. He removes our past. He takes it away. He removes it and he throws it away. It is no longer there. It is no longer there to hinder me, to hold me back because this is what God does. He doesn't remember my past. He doesn't look to my past because he's removed my past through his son, Christ Jesus John chapter 8, verse 44, Jesus says this, the devil was a murderer from the beginning. Yeah, we know that he murdered right from the beginning. He's still a murderer. He still comes to rob, to kill and to destroy. He always hated the truth. Notice this. This is what Jesus is saying. He always hated the truth because there is no truth in him. There is no truth in the devil. There is only lies. When he lies, he is consistent with his character for he is a liar and the father of lies. Stop listening to the things of this world. Stop listening, listening to the lies of the devil. Come on, refocus. Sometimes we just got to refocus. We got to come back to understand that what Jesus Christ has done for us. We have to come back to the cross. We have to look to the cross. We have to look up onto the cross and again, remind ourselves of what Jesus Christ has done for us. You see, the devil's lies led Adam and Eve away from the truth. Since that time, men have been caught up in the lies and still listen to the lies of the devil. It's crazy when I speak to some people. And their understanding of God and who God is and the life that they're living like they live their life here on earth like, man, this is where I'm going to spend the rest of my life. No, we're not. You see, <laughs> the Bible teaches us there is a time to die. And when that time comes up and our number is called, we are going to stand before our God and he's going to ask, show me your branch. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to hold up. Lord, the fruit. Look at the fruit. It's not dry. It has fruit on it. This is what we need to be showing to God. And if we are found in Christ Jesus, come on, this is it. You see, I, on my own, I cannot produce fruit. I have to be grafted into the vine. I have to be grafted into Jesus Christ. I have to allow him to be part of my life. I am in him. Crazy enough to think this. I am in him and he is in me. <laughs> that makes a difference. Not so. You see, if we are in Christ Jesus, we are in the truth of God's word and are part of the vine Christ Jesus and should, must be producing fruit. Now, again, it is so easy 
to produce the fruit by allowing the Lord Jesus Christ to reveal his promises through the word, staying in the word of God and allowing God's word to produce that fruit in us and through us by reaching out, touching others, telling them of the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus Christ is coming back for his church that looks like him. <laughs> hey, you ever think about that? This is what he's coming back for. Now, come on. I want you to think about this. This is what he's coming back for. And we need to be the same. So Jesus Christ is coming back for a church that looks like him, sounds like him, speaks like him, thinks like him, acts like him, worships like him, and makes disciples like him. Oh, that's something to look at. Is my branch doing that? If it's not, you need to ask the gardener to prune you back quickly, to cut back so that you can be the one to produce fruit. The question that we need to ask ourselves, and again, I, I said this on Sunday, and I, I, I feel I just need to say this on the closing of, of a new week on this Friday morning. The question is, what does your branch look like? Is it bearing fruit? These are the little questions we need to ask ourselves. Are we reaching out to others with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ? In the simple little ways. Again, are we aligned with God? Or are we aligned with the things of this world? The nature that I have, is it the nature of Christ? Can I examine my life and look, do I have the nature of Christ? And, and, and simply this, do I have love? Do I love people? Can I show love to others? You see, again, this is the nature of Christ. Again, am I cut into the vine? Have I been grafted in? Have I been cut into the vine? Because if I'm in the vine, then I'm in the truth of God's word. And then finally, am I held by God? Does God hold me together and everything around me? This is my life. Let me tell you, if it wasn't for God in my life, I would have fallen apart. But I know this, that I'm held by God because I have been grafted into the vine. Come on today. Why not? Find yourself being grafted back into the vine, producing the life that comes from the vine, Christ Jesus himself. Yeah.